Hey, did you see the new paper on multi-unit auctions by Dobdinsky and Neeson? No. Multi-unit auctions? What are these? An auctioneer has a number of identical items for sale, and bidders have a value for each possible number of items that they get. Didn't Vickery's seminal paper already have the incentive-compatible payments figured out? Economists usually only worried about the convex case, but the general problem is NP-hard, so computer scientists are working on approximation. Okay, so why are approximations for multi-unit auctions interesting? Well, this is the simplest case where you get the clash between incentive constraints and computational ones, the basic problem of algorithmic mechanism design. Okay, so what's in the paper? They find a new auction for the case of two items and two players. New auction? Nice. So what are the benefits of this new auction? Well, none. Not revenue. Not welfare. Not simplicity. Nothing. Is the new auction at least elegant? Nope. It's a somewhat corrupted version of the usual auction. So what's the point? Well, the point is that there is some auction that is not of the VCG family. This means that Robert's theorem that shows that in unconstrained domains only VCG mechanisms exist does not apply to auction domains. And the new auction does get good approximation. So maybe there are yet other auction formats or this two-player two-item case? Well, they also show that at least for scalable auctions there are none. This is actually most of the technical work in the paper. A lower bound. Is the proof elegant? Not as far as I can tell. They determine the possible price structure in the auction, step by growing step. I suppose that the point is that you can do this when looking directly at prices rather than at the allocation. And this just for the case of two items. So the strongest thing that they show is that the lower bound for two items implies a general lower bound for any number of items. So instead of a general lower bound we get one for some restricted version of scalable auctions and then a reduction from two to more items. Is this complexity theory? What can you do? This incentives and computation issue at the heart of algorithmic mechanism design is open for more than a decade now. I reviewed it for EC. Why couldn't the authors explain it like this in their paper? I will now change my grade from strong reject to weak reject.